it's Candace, and in today's QuickBooks Tips and Tricks, as you guys probably know if you've been following me for very long, I have tons of videos on credit cards. And today, somebody left on my blog post a question about credit cards. So this lady is a bookkeeper and her boss uses credit cards for business and personal. You may be doing the same thing and wanting to know how do you handle that within QuickBooks. So the couple questions come into place depends on one, how are you paying for the personal credit card expenses? Are you writing a check personally and paying that separate outside of the business? Or are you writing a check from the business to also pay for your credit card expenses? If you're writing a check from the business, so say I was in here and I'm going to write a check and I'm going to code it to the credit card for the full amount that I owe, what you would do is you still choose your credit card and you, if you enter all the expenses, you, so what you're going to want to do is either do a summary format of those expenses or add them all and do them to owner draw, depending on the type of entity formation that your owner has, whether they're a sole proprietor, an LLC, a corporation, you're going to basically do that as either owner draw, shareholder distribution, that kind of thing. And then when you go to write the check, you would write the check full amount. Now, if you're paying the difference, they're writing part of their, they're writing a check themselves and you're doing the difference, then you would only enter the expenses that the credit card is your paying out. It's the easiest way to do it. It also comes into play whether or not they pay the credit card off every month. So all of these things are a factor. The best thing I can tell you is put into QuickBooks exactly what's happening. If they're paying for the credit card directly out of the business, then you're going to want, and that's personal expense when you're entering in the credit card charges, you can do it one of two ways. You could do each individual charge. As you enter it, choose down here the owner's distribution or shareholder distribution, owner's draw, or you can lump them all together and do one towards that. It depends. If you need more advice and more specifics about your personal business, as always, up above on the I, you can click on that and you'll see I'll add all the previous credit card trainings as well as if you are new to QuickBooks and you're wanting to learn more about it, Confidence to QuickBooks, my online course is now available. Typically, I only launch it twice a year. Through the summer, I've made it available for you to actually go directly in. So feel free to check that out at confidencewithquickbooks.com. Click on the I or down below. All of the details will be in the description. Hope this has been helpful. Have an amazing summer. I'll talk to you guys soon.